say I killed a friend of mine, it was devastating. It destroyed my family foremost because they know the guy was my friend. And to be in a situation where we grew up shooting marbles and going out, you know, dating some of the same girlfriends in, the, in, the, in our neighborhood. Because I went and knocked on his mama's door and told her that was her son that they found in the neck, right across from and where we were staying at. And my family was aware of everything that I did, went to the funeral, even picked up a collection from the neighborhood to get a reefer to sit from the neighbors of the Cali Project. And when I got arrested for that, that really destroyed my family, just to know how could a system not verify through investigation that you have the right person. Even when I got in that situation, I wrote the victim mom a letter expressing how sorry I am for the loss of her son, but I'm an innocent man. And that letter came back to me 20 some years later when I got my district attorney file seeking public record requests. And all the while the DA had that same letter, the mama brought to the office and saying, you sure you have the right guy? Cause this guy wrote me a letter and in my signature, I'm an innocent man. And that's what I sit here today voicing my innocence and as an advocate for other innocent people that I'm, you know, working on cases today, I understand the struggle and the pain that their family going through and not having the resources to help. And it's just a, a continued struggle you have to hold on to your faith. Well, coming up to my home, raising mom always had us to go to church. And and during my journey and, and having connection with praying and knowing it's a, a greater power than I am. And when I was incarcerated, I met a Christian friend and she sent me a scripture in the Bible, which is in the book of Genesis, when Joseph went to prison. And when I read that story about Joseph, that really cemented my faith in God because God's favor was with him because he was wrongfully convicted. It's in the book of Genesis, the 37 chapter, where Joseph was wrong. And during my time, in, I, I expressed my frustration to a pen pal, and she said, Earl, read this story. And after I read that story, where well, that increased my faith to trust God, to bring me out of the wilderness that I know he did for all the great men that today people read about in the Bible and among their greatness, God, see greatness in all of us. And that was one of the things I know God see, know me better than I know myself. This is return is know today they can cheat and lie and nothing happened to them and send a person away. And that would be, uh, it would be honorable to have a law. And that would make a, that would be a deterrence for the district attorneys where well, they wouldn't cheat in line no more because it'll cost them their lifetime just as well as what you cost us a lifetime spending in prison. My attorney should have filed a motion for a severance to separate us. That means now he'll be able to see where the other side go first. We'll be more prepared because of the other crime, which was a breaking that we wasn't aware of. So if Gregory Bright, which my good friend, if we'd have got that severance back then, he didn't want to try our first. And if they would have found him guilty, we was on the same tier, he'd have told me, she said I broke in her house. I'd have had my turn to go investigate that to verify the information I had got verified through the sales, working out a sale block. We would have been prepared to cross examine her better and destroy her credibility. So she came in as a good witness, a good Samaritan, untouched. We didn't even know her true identity. And that's another thing that she testified on her false name. I filed a war complaint against the district attorney that prosecuted me. I gave them a volumes of documents. They still said the district attorney did no wrong. In the uh, 
All associations, most of them are composed of former district attorneys, police officers. Everybody knew each other, so they, they would never. And that's what the 11 Amendment come in at. The king do no wrong, despite no matter. And that goes to justice see what they want to see. 